Hey guys, welcome back. It's Heyday Videos here with another Let's Play of the game. Today, I'm going to show you my machine strategy, or I'm going to show you how I fill up my machines while playing the game. So my level is 109, and I've just got only 10 diamonds. Oh, don't Instagram me. I'm shooting a video right now. So as you guys can see that I have all my machines right here, which are fully mastered. Except this flower maker or flower shop, which I'm trying to do, and obviously it's gonna take some time. And all other machines are fully mastered. You can see my sauce maker. So the basic purpose of this video is I'm going to show you how I fill up my machines while playing the game. So I tend to keep about like 40 or 30 of every sugar. As you can see, I have 43 of the brown. 38 of the white and the syrups are low right now, but I'll make them later. Here's my barn. That's 3,400. As you guys can see, they have above 1980 of each cherry product. And I keep honeycombs. So you will see that I have each and every item in amount of six. You can see pasta. I've got taco there. That's lobster pasta and a hat and jams. So, I tend to keep about six or five of everything in my barn except the dairy and the sugar items. Well, it depends upon your barn. Like, many people take about ten of each thing, many people do five, many people then twenty, and the people with higher barns even keep thirty and forty or even sixty or seventeen. That's a lot. So, let's fill up my machines. Bacon and eggs, I've got eight and I don't need to make. You can see that I've eight and fifteen of everything there. Oh damn, so I've got six and you can see that I have five banana pancakes so I need to make one more to keep my stock of six. So I'm gonna put some blackberries and gonna put this in the grill. And you can see that I have everything in six and that's great. So now the pie oven, I tend to keep about six of each pie as well. You guys can see that I have every pie in a good amount so now I don't need to make any more so I'll just put some cat pies because that's take a lot of time and I can sell those in the shop later and um basically I tend to keep about 10 of each loom item because these items are very common and in my town they ask a lot for these so I just tend to make a lot of those now for um that's um the sewing machine the blankets and the pillows are very rare, and I just tend to keep three of them all the time. So, three or four, I can make one more. Because uh, it needs uh, duck feathers, which are really, you know, rare, and you can't get them all the time. Now, the coffee machine is actually kind of interesting. I tend to keep about six, and I'm all, all the shot of cocos. Um, let me just pull some. And I'm going to be putting up... Um, I've got two, let's make one more, and for the lettuce, I tend to keep three of each coffee kiosk item, because these are not very, you know, special. So for the jewelry, I tend to keep about six or three, because I use them all the time, so I'm just gonna put some more. And now the jams, let's make some more, um, let's make some marmalade. Ice cream, I tend to keep about six, two more, two more there. Now for the juice, I tend to keep about ten or eight or seven. I'm going to have the juice, so I'm just going to put two more apple, and then I'm going to put some carrot juice there. Now for the cakes, wow, I'm just going to berry cake. Let's get some raspberries and fill up my cake oven. Well, machines are really important in the game because you need to run them all the time and you can sell the items in your roadside shop to make some money. And you guys can see that I have about only two fruit cakes, so I'm gonna put some more fruit cakes. That's, that's not good. Just get me some oranges and put one more fruit cake in there. Now for the actual, I'm trying to master my flower shop. So I just tend to make these rustic baguette all the time because it takes the more time, 45 minutes. Let me just get some wheat first. Oh my god, I can't find wheat. That's really bad. Like, yeah, we can find wheat. Let's get that. So 
So I'm trying to master my flower shop, so I just make rustic baguette all the time. And for the soup, I tend to keep like six. Let's make one tomato, one fish soup, and I'm good at all the others. Now the candles, I tend to keep six. I'm good. I don't need to make any more. For the uh, sushi, I also keep six, and I'm getting short on lobster tails. So let's make um, two more of these. Now I'm good at all that. And for the smoothies, I tend to keep about 10 of each. Let's make one mixed smoothie. Of cloche and flower crown and fly sun and top hat because these are very rare and you can't get them all the time. Now for the tea, I keep 10 of each tea in my uh, barn. And for the tacos, wow, let's make five more because I tend to keep six of everything. So here, I'm gonna make one more tofu dog and two more onion dogs and hot dog and corn dog I'm good at. So for the pastas, I'm good. Now let's make some, I guess I need to put some more fresh pasta. Now this machine is really useful because you need a lot of stuff and I can't believe that I'm lucky. Let's put some salsa because I tend to keep 20 or 30 of each item. And I need to make a lot of olive oil. I'm all always all short of olives. I don't know, probably I don't have enough trees or something. But I'm all all the shot of olives, and I don't have enough olive oil all the time. That's my basic issue. So I'm gonna put some olive oil. And for the salads, I tend to keep six of each salad. Let's make one more seafood and fruit salad there. Two more bacon toasts. Let's get some eggs. And I'm also doing a derby task, which I need to send some trucks, serve the townies, and complete two boats. It's a combo task for 400 points. Fill up um, the egg sandwich and I'm all good now. Now let's harvest my rice. So there's going a special event. You get three of each crop instead of two when you harvest them. And that's really useful when you can sell the crops in the shop. Now let me just see how many rice do I have now. Oh my god, that was a plenty. If I go down to my shop, I'm selling vegetables already. Oh my god, I have about 500 rice, and I don't need those. I'm just gonna put them in the stall so my play my followers or my friends can take those. So guys, this was my strategy, or this is how I fill my machines and keep stock of everything. Let me don't let me know down below in the comment section. What do you do? How many items of each? Thing you keep in your barn and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys and make sure you subscribe and like this video to get notified about all my uploads and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys